hey guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl willow you don't know and i'm back with another video please like comment share and subscribe don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified whenever i post a new video and tell your friends and loved ones about willow's creation youtube channel if you're new to my channel welcome to the willow's creation family and thanks to the loyal supporters for the support in this video i'm showing you one of the jamaican ways of cooking brunch stew chicken the reason why I said one of is because I know three different ways to cook Jamaican brown stew chicken. So let's get right into this video. First I prepared all my ingredients as usual and I went ahead and cut the chicken in small pieces. What I used was some powder seasoning, Jamaican browning and some vegetables. Since I already cut the chicken, I seasoned the chicken with the powder seasoning. If you have never tried Jamaican brown stew chicken before, please do. You won't be disappointed. It almost tastes like Jamaican jerk chicken. If you try this recipe in the future, please come back to my channel and comment on this video and let me know if you like it. You can get this Jamaican browning at a local international food store or you can order it on Amazon. Then I place an empty pot on the stove at medium temperature. Wait for about 2 minutes until the pot is hot. While waiting on the pot to hot, I went ahead and prepared the garlic and onions. As I said before in the intro, there are 3 different ways to cook Jamaican brown stew chicken. Comment down below and let me know if you all would like to see me cook the brown stew chicken the next two ways I promise I will show you all. Now it's time to pour the oil into the pot. When the oil is hot, I pour the cut onion and garlic into the pot, mix and leave for about a minute or so. After that, I pour the chicken into the pot and mix as well. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about Willis Creation YouTube channel. I like to eat bones so I ensure that my chicken is well cooked.
When the first portion of water is dried out of the pot, I allowed it to fry for about 2 minutes. Then I pour the first water onto the chicken and leave it to cook. After the first water is dried out of the pot, I poured a second portion of water onto the chicken and allowed it to finish cooking. While the chicken is cooking, I went ahead and prepared the vegetables. The ones I used was carrots, sweet peppers and jalapenos. The jalapenos is the substitute for the scotch bunny pepper. When the second portion of water is dried out of the pot, I pour the vegetables in along with some more water so that the vegetables can cook. This was the last portion of water I added so I don't let the water dry out too much because if I do, I won't have any sauce to eat with my food. The last thing I added to the brown stew chicken is the salt. Reason being is because sometimes the powder seasonings are salty and you don't want to add too much salt because you might not enjoy your meal. The reason why I didn't cook the vegetables when I poured the first water into the pot is because I don't want the vegetables to be too soft. The healthiest way to eat the vegetables is when they are half cooked and not well done. You can add the brown stew chicken with just about anything. I had mine with Jamaican rice and peas. This is the finished product. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend and your family about Willow's Creation YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.